try and solder over the top of that. Stami, uh, red, white, <laughs> red, and just about anything is, uh, is a good color. Really pinky. Just about the only color that doesn't apparently. I'll say that with big exclamation mark. Fish, you can see red. It doesn't change for them. They miss the color blue. So everything else is weird. What we see is not what they see. So, uh, mm. interesting, eh? Man, I like it. Surface stick bait, miniaturized. The last white, <coughs> a few more coats. Pearlized white, metallic white, check away you want to look at it, this is a uh, pearlized, beautiful stuff.
tropics. So uh, we've got a bit of both. And uh, I almost don't want to get rid of this lure. I have to keep it for myself. I'll make another one for myself. Right, Clint. Well, guess what? I changed my mind on what I want for this lure. Purple. Purple is what I'm doing. Purple and white. Nice lure. Proper nice lure. I can go black. That's boring. So, that's what we're doing here. <coughs> Only have candy, unfortunately, and purple, strong purple. I had some purples mixed up, but uh, they've gone off, I think. It's not just going to be purple, I'm going to put a bit of uh, foil on. The last light or very low light look. So uh, this is going to dry off for a while. I'm going to give it a clear and then and add some uh, some shine to it. I oh, mix the two, that's been the result. <coughs> that's it, that's the color I'm after. I don't even know what to say, it uh, changes colors. Gold, pearl, and candy blue. Purple, I mean, candy purple. Wow. 
very metallic. Boy racers would love that, wouldn't they? Not sure about this, pearl and copper. I've diluted the copper a bit, but it is very, very strong. Pollocky finish, maybe? I wonder. I don't want to overdo it. I suppose I can chuck a bit of gold over the top. Or yellow. I think I'm going to do yellow. Well, I was, I'm, I'm really impressed with this, these paints. Art Studio Premium. I got it for a bargain. Couldn't believe it. Um, washes out easy too. And it says it's 100% waterproof on dry, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, why not? Well, <clears throat> I'm going to do a mackerel finish on this. So I'm starting with the silver on the back. This is a completely new idea for me. Um, I would normally start with a black, but here we go. I want this sort of finish. <clears throat> My screen.
Ja, naja. Bin ich bei den Nuss oder Sealern? Das ist very coincidental, das one, but I'm loving it. It's uh, so iridescent, bin ich. Um, gold, metallic colors. And yeah, it changes color. Crazy. Purely accidental. To buy that at the bottle will cost you an absolute fortune. So I'm putting a bit of bling on it. Little stripey bits. Just sand cut. Doesn't have to be perfect. <coughs> no two fish look the same. That's what I'm trying to say. Bait fish, no matter what. So, uh, yeah. Giving it that uh, handmade look, proper handmade look. It's quite amusing the the handmade thing. When does it stop being handmade? When you make a mold of it. There's some uh, really nice lures coming out of uh, 3D printers. I don't know if you can class it as handmade. Surely not. But people do, they claim it handmade. when you go away from this you know this is proper animated isn't it there's no molds involved there's no third party involved like that that's going to be really nice. We'll call it nightshade. Definitely a late afternoon going into the evening. Uh, um, I think you used to get a hound that had uh, black and white lines. Um, and yeah, it was a good late, late afternoon going into dark. Uh, um, caught me a few fish, so that's that's where I kind of got the idea from. So I don't know. <coughs> I hope this thing's working. Where was I? Anyway, I finished it in the meantime. Card was full. I had to go and get that emptied out. But that's the result of that. And that, that looks mint, doesn't it? There you go. So all this needs is a few coats of clear. And it will be done. More than done. Yeah. I'll definitely make another few of these. This is it. From that to that. There you go. Dare I say I have developed this over some time. <laughs> Develop is so funny. Never mind. Um, I'll put my signature on that kill plate. I don't want to write on the lure itself. So. 
So we'll do that. <clears throat> this is a stainless steel bar I found one day. And uh, it works really well. It's smooth as, so you can roll it on. And it just flattens that aluminium foil beautifully. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Signature, that's where I was, somewhere there. Gosh, the light is terrible in here. stand out. It'll probably stand out better once it's uh, cleared or lacquered. If not, I'll, I'll put my signature on the bottom here. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Very, very nice. Master Blaster. Good old movie, isn't it? Funny. Funny as Master Blaster. <coughs> Apocalypse now. Anyway, I'm talking nonsense. I'm dabbling on. Yeah, chucked two bits with that. So I've got a few more of to get eyes and stuff fitted. I'll carry on with that and I'll show you guys the results. Nice. a few eyes the next series of lures have got fairly small eyes oops oh, punched the right Mix up uh, some clear. You gotta be very accurate to this stuff. Um, this top quality clear. Expensive but worth it. <clears throat> I've tried the epoxy root and well the available epoxies are just too brittle saw a uh, video the other day of a really beautiful handmade lure getting hit by a uh, Spanish Mac, they call it in Australia, or Greater Barrack, um, King Mackerel, as I know it. And uh, the lure, well, the, the resin just popped clean off. 
like a crystal bowl being shattered. Very sad to, to see a really beautiful lure like that getting absolutely destroyed. Well, to me it means that the epoxy used is just too, too brittle. You need flex. And, uh, this product has been upgraded so many times because of the health and safety and they've done it a favor. It actually made a better product. A very, very strong product. Scratch proof. A little proof. And uh, touch flexible. You need that on, the on modern cars because the metals are so much thinner. So, uh, yeah, you need that flexibility, but it's a good product, and you've got to be patient with it, let it cure correctly. And uh, of course, you know, custom lures, homemade lures will always get scratched and damaged, uh, no matter who makes them. Um, they're not immune. You know, plastic lures. Plastic lures, if they get destroyed, they, they are done for. A good lure, you can always repair. You can always. you can repair. That's the beauty of wood gloves. But there's no point in putting an, uh, an epoxy finish on it. It looks good, it looks strong when it's actually not. It, it delaminates from the paint, quite literally, or from the base coat. Either that or the process of preparing it is not correct. You know, each layer if you put a base coat on and you use epoxy resin as a base coat, before you start painting you should you know, sand it down uh, so that the paint has got something to grab to. It's that simple. Um, yeah, when you start taking shortcuts with the lure, the bolding of the lure, then uh, you will definitely end up with problems and uh, embarrassing really isn't it if your lure falls apart Final lure, last one. 